Welcome to the NYSC Big Startup, a show about unlocking potential brought to you by NYSC Euronix and hosted by me, Guy Kawasaki. We started the company in 2005 and really what, what came together was in 2004 when we were in college, my, my co-founder and I, and you know, when you're in a school or university environment, and actually is, is pretty analogous to being in an enterprise, you're moving between lots of different devices, mm -hmm. lots of computers, you have to share with lots of people. And where I went to school, there was just really hard to share information and to, to store data and, and be able to get to it from anywhere. So what we do at Box is we try and make it really, really easy for businesses to share information, to collaborate, to store their data in the cloud in a secure and, and scalable way. You know, a lot of people don't like their enterprise software vendor. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to change how people think about enterprise software. And okay. we're trying to give people a much better experience in, in the process. So, so would you say this emphasis on enterprise was a pivot midstream or did you, I mean, did you start off consumer? We ultimately decided, okay, we're not going to be able to compete on both fronts as effectively as, as we could by going really, really deep in one. So we decided to, to not focus as much in the consumer space. We have a free product, that we have 12 million right. users on the product, but, uh, but the focus really became how do we go sell this to, to the world's largest businesses. And, um, and so we kind of narrowed down and then a, as a result of narrowing down, you then go much deeper. So we, we you know, really, so in that sense, we really turned the ship. Um, toward the, the enterprise in a very big way. Uh, looking back, uh, with the benefit of hindsight, mm -hmm. what, what do you think were the key things or the key decisions, key factors that made Box so successful? One of the exciting things about being a startup and, and starting a company from scratch is you sort of get to you know, go reinvent a lot of things. But at the same time, um, having respect for the talent and experience that is out there from people that have just done that thing before and can do it incredibly well in, in an environment that, that you know, maybe wants to do it in a more innovative, innovative way, like how we sell or how do we go to market and how we distribute our, our, our technology. So we've been able to, again, really attract an amazing team and that, that was, that, that's not one pivotal moment, but it, it certainly opened our eyes to, okay. to building up an organization like that. Do you have any regrets? Did you do anything wrong? I mean, what was your biggest mistakes that you, if yeah. you could advise entrepreneurs, don't do what I did, I did this wrong? That's, I mean, that's an, that's an hourly phenomenon. So, um, uh, I'll narrow it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, every you know, month or quarter or so, uh, we, we try and take the things in the organization, we, 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 we sort of do a brainstorm of what are the things in the organization that aren't working and what are the things in the organization that are working. And we think that the things in the, that aren't working are because they're sort of fatally flawed or is it we're executing poorly or whatever. And then we get rid of the things that are fatally flawed that we just you know, have determined that, that they're not going to work out. And we put that you know, amount of resource that, that now got freed up into the things that are working. And so we're constantly doubling down on the things that, that we're effective in and the areas mm -hmm. that, we're, that, that are working well. And then we're constantly reducing and killing off the things that, uh, that, that aren't as effective. Most of the mistakes that we've made as an organization or I personally made have been in situations where you just didn't make a decision fast enough. You didn't move on on, on the, the decision or, or executing fast enough. So whether that's been a technology paradigm that we wanted to invest in, whether that's a, a hiring or firing decision that we wanted to do, um, you know, most things I, you know, that, that have been mistakes have been because we just did not execute at the speed that uh, I think was, was necessary or commensurate with the, the kind of problem we were dealing with. So you're familiar with New York Stock Exchange's big startup program. How do you think that program can help entrepreneurs? I think we're at a point where, I mean, us personally, is we're, we're at a scale where um, there are lots of companies that we need to be working with that are much larger than us, and I think having, having that network that, that's available and, uh, and th those kinds of companies you know, out there that, that we can work with is um, incredibly important. I think that if you look at the, again, this is very specific to us, if you look at the, the group of companies that are in NYSE, um, most of them are, are companies that we would want to work with from a, a customer and a partnership standpoint, so that's um, incredibly attractive. For, for smaller businesses, you're always trying to learn from, from companies that have solved these problems before mm -hmm. or, or had to, uh, to uh, you know, attack those kind of challenges, um, or you're trying to sell to them, or you're trying to partner with them. And so having a network and an ecosystem where you can do that, I think, is uh, extremely effective. Any final <laughs> advice to entrepreneurs or yeah. investors? Uh, investors, yeah. Invest <laughs> in, the, uh, in the really good stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I would say Let that, me write that down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's my philosophy. The only thing I, you know, I, I generally try and remind people of is build for where things are going. Uh, because of those new platforms, what gets enabled because you now have mobility in a business environment, what gets enabled because you now have infinite computing resources. Um, that's certainly what we focus on, that, uh, that you're attacking markets where the incumbent is compromising in their product or in how they work with customers. These are always the, the sort of gaps that open up big opportunities for startups. Okay. And, uh, and I think we're just at that kind of one of the most exciting and, and disruptive points in, in technology history. So right, pretty excited right. to be here. So thank you. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. 
Thank you for watching the NYSE Big Startup, brought to you by NYSE Euronext. Join the Big Startup at nysebigstartup.com.